This, ladies and gentlemen, is the shade. What is up? What's happening? This is the shade. Right here on Active FM with your boy Gloire. Myself, Sash. Tabo. Yeah. <laughs> and today we are continuing with the banter. The banter returns. The banter sequels. <laughs> Tabo, you really wanted to say that. And now yeah. that you've said it out loud, do you realize how bad it sounds? I am satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you did not listen to our previous podcast how last week, you? go listen to it. It was a really cool show. We got a lot yeah. of feedback. People were very interested in the banter. Uh-huh. And the banter is something that, not okay, banter is something that you need in your life. <laughs> the banter. <laughs> we literally took this thing and made it you know, our own. Yeah. Yeah. Banter. The banter. The no, but seriously, your life will be a whole lot bent <laughs> <laughs> if you banter yeah, yeah. Yes. so if you don't know what banter is go listen to our previous show we went into extensive detail but this week extensive. we are continuing with number one flirting and banter Ooh. Mm. so for all you out there who f- uh, who, uh, who desire to to what flirt to flirt and um, mm-hmm. desire to express a desire <laughs> that was nice actually You desire to express a desire Well then this is for you Okay Are you guys ready? Yep. Are you prepared? Notebooks out? Yes we are ready You're ready to Notebooks learn Notebooks out you are, ready. you're ready to f- <laughs> Write notes like you've never written in your life before like, ah, You're yeah. about to make that page go on fire Because the friction between the pen and the page Is so quick that it just mm-hmm. Yeah But then technically there was no points to your note Or no point to your notes mm-hmm. You just burned, burned them But it's hot yeah, it is hot. All right, anyway, moving right along. So flirting and banter. Studies yeah. show that both men and women find humor attractive. Hmm. Did you know that? Both men. Oh. I, didn't, I actually didn't know men did. Because for me, it's always like guys just want the girl to laugh at their jokes. No, no, no. 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 The girl has to make jokes. She has to be funny too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Otherwise, All right. it's just a waste of time. <gasps> I didn't say that. To, <laughs> to, to you. Yes, yes, wow. Yes. Wow. Okay, anyway, <laughs> moving right along. Let's get into it. <laughs> the paper is burning. Jeez. Okay, uh-huh. humor is linked with intelligence, which I agree with. That's why dog jokes are so epic, uh-huh. which yeah. is a desirable quality. Ha-ha, there you go, desire Wait, towel. Intelligence or humor? Both, I think. Okay. Yeah, you want oh. someone who's funny and intelligent. Oh, yeah. Because okay, yeah, yeah. funny, stupid is just, yeah. Sad. Yeah. I mean, you can only make funny jokes if you're intelligent, I guess. Well, you do get stupid jokes, but honestly, I don't find they more. You, normally, it's like, oh, whatever. Ha, mm, ha. Smart. <laughs> yeah, cheesy. Yeah, the corny. We, yeah. So, bantering is a great way to flirt. In many ways, bantering with a crush is the same as bantering with a friend. So, the same basic rules apply. So, if you want to banter with your crush, just go listen to last week's so- show. Mm-hmm. and uh, to you. Yeah, follow the rules. Okay. Yeah. However, when you banter with someone you find attractive, you can... Are you ready for these bullet points? All right. Mm-hmm. You can. Number one, steer the conversation to personal topics, including dating and relationships. Ooh. Ooh. So you can turn it into deepness. But still bantering. Yeah. yeah. Deep bantering. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. It doesn't have to be deep, but you just steer the topic to Towards relationships or personal topics. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or dating. Oh okay. Yeah. All oh, right. You know, like when two people like each other, they'll normally they'll normally say things like, "Your husband will never," or "I pity the man that will marry you." Or do you get it? Like they do stuff <laughs> like that, <laughs> but they bent. They actually are joking about oh, it. But nice. they yeah, do, yeah, yeah. do. You understand what I'm saying? They cool bring way. up. Yeah, I know. Like, there's probably like a joke, but please don't say that one. Which one? I pity I'm the man that marries you. Girl, like, don't yeah, don't say, say that. that. Unless she's got a very good sense of humor and she can take a joke. Yeah. 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 And fine. and she can respond back because if she... You, do you, that's where the banter comes in when she has a quick response. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Like her response could be, well, I wish I could pity a woman, but you're never going to get married. So oh, oh. you see, <laughs> there's, there's responses to it. Okay, number two. Use lingering eye contact for a greater sense of intimacy. <laughs> <laughs> so eye contact people. So lingering is a nice word for stay. 
Yeah. So yeah. As in linger, as in you don't break the. Oh, you the, keep the gaze. You keep yeah. their gaze to for. Build the, the tension yeah. and the butterflies. Exactly. You see, like normally you stare at a person and then you look away, whereas now you stare at them. You the eyesight, the eye contact lingers. Yes. It eyes, holds there in there. Eyes on lock. Eyes on, eyes on, <laughs> eyes on lock. lock. Let's go. All right. Number three, compliment them more often to make it clear that you like them. Mm. Yeah. So you know how you can still compliment someone in a joking way or you insult them, but then you actually, you're meaning the opposite and then you're like, oh, I'm just joking. You look really cool. to your hair. Yeah. <laughs> but careful. You see, there's always a fine line with bantering. Yeah. There's the insult and then there's the, the banter. Yeah. And the person... Yeah, you have to be careful what you say and you also have to note, is the person going to accept this as a joke or are they going to take it personally? Yeah. So you have to make sure the hair looks stunning because then she knows. Yes, oh. like, oh boy. You can only be joking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Exactly. Like, All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like another thing is she could be dressed really smart and then... Like your your response could be, well, you could have tried a little bit harder to look smart. Or do you, <laughs> so you say something that everyone knows. Yeah. 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 But yes. yes, it's it's leaning towards compliments. And then lastly, use banter as a warm up before you ask them out on a date. Mm. So if if you're wanting to ask someone out, banter is the way to go. Some, but then yeah. again, banter can be used on the date. You see, bantering is just like your friend it, in every it, aspect of life, in, in friendship, pocket. in any relationship. Okay, yeah. you might also touch them more often that you would t- more than you would touch a friend. This means light touches on the forearm, shoulder, or knee. Pay close attention to how they react. If they move closer or touch you in return, that's a great sign. If they appear mm. uncomfortable or move away slightly, give them more <laughs> space. Penta touch. Penta touch. Oh, <laughs> so what's the way you You know touch? what that reminds me of? Sorry, I'm a film person. Have you ever... Mm. You haven't. Have you ever watched a thing called Bandersnatch? No. That's what Banda, Banta touch reminded me of. Penta snatch. Oh. Bandersnatch. Oh, Bandersnatch. It, wa- it was a movie where you could make decisions for the characters. So as the viewer, you oh, had certain control. Cool. Yeah, it was weird. It was, yeah. But, but you weird. almost, you were nervous of the outcome because they'd give you like two options. Like, is he going to, is he going to destroy his computer or is he going to carry on working? And then, yeah. Oh, it, you'd have to decide cool. well what they would do is they'd film they had like five versions of the scripts knowing how they each linked oh, and yeah. then they just fill yeah but anyway that was completely off topic mm-hmm. back to bantering <laughs> <laughs> okay let's look at two examples of how banter can work when you want to flirt using banter to compliment someone you're interested in giving a compliment with a qualifier let someone know you're attracted to them while keeping the conversation light and playful in this example a guy and a girl are hanging out with friends in the park they are talking about their college days guy i was kind of awkward in college so i didn't really date much to be honest girl that's hard to imagine i mean you're probably one of the hottest guys in this park guy sure. what do you mean probably one of <laughs> girl pats his arm playfully definitely in the top 10 anyway guy raises his eyebrows do you like make official top 10s li- top 10 lists as a hobby is that a things thing girls do So in this example, the girl is signaling that she finds the guy attractive, but she also qualifies the compliments so that it doesn't come across as creepy or like, you know, like, oh my gosh, she's so hot. Yeah, Yeah, which would be very weird. In response, the guy banters back, implying that she's a bit weird to rank guys in this way. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, though, I feel like what would she respond to? I feel like that could go south. Yeah, could that 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 is possibly? Do you get what I'm saying? Or you'll just laugh it off and change the topic. Yeah, yeah. I just know the guy could have like taken it to a whole another direction. Yeah, right. I'm just saying. Yeah, I am hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't get a big head. And then it's a fight. Yeah, you see, like that one. That one's dangerous because that one now she could be insulted that he thinks she ranks. Do you get what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, but then it also could go in a funny. Yeah, that one you have to be careful of, man. Mm-hmm. You have to watch those ones. Because either the guy's going to get hurt because <laughs> now he thinks he's not that good looking or she thinks... Yeah, no, that one That one you have to be careful with. Yeah. Do you think it, this... How exactly does this work as bantering? If, for example, you complimented, for example, a girl's friend who you are sort of bantering with. Do you Will like the girl or do you banter? like the friend? No, like just... No, if, let's say, for example, you're talking to the girl and you like her. And you compliment, and you compliment your friend. her friend, but uh, as a joke, not as banter. Yeah, 
Example? I don't know. Just saying that her friend is pretty. I think you're going to give her the impression that you like her friend then. Wait, wait. Are you complimenting the friend in front of her? Or are you complimenting no, not the friend through her? Through her, <laughs> not in front of her. Oh, so your friends... I feel like you could give her mixed signals. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, just my friend. Because now she's like, okay, he thinks she's pretty or whatever. Do you know, well, do you obviously, you I think at some point in the towards the end, you just tell her that it was a joke, I guess. That one you also have to be care- uh, careful with because now... Especially if you're not dating. No, but even if you're dating, there's a possibility that the girl now thinks you're interested in my friend. How would you feel if a girl complimented your friend through you? (laughs) (laughs) Do you get what I'm saying? (laughs) Now you'd be like, wait, does she like me or does she like my friend? Because you know how sometimes if you like someone, you'll hang around with people that they hang around with. So now maybe you're like, wait, maybe she's only hanging out with me because she likes him. And she wants to be with him. So now, do you get what I'm saying? So that one, yeah, yeah, that I, I personally would not do that just because yeah. it could, yeah. Could go south. I feel like bantering is fun to do with someone that you're interested in, but you also have to be careful because I feel like it's a, it's a much more sensitive relationship, if I can put it like that. So like friends, like if someone else, if your friend says to you, oh, they, they look cool, you're going to be like, yeah, they do. Do you understand? Like there's no personal, you don't feel like my friend's yeah, going to yeah. leave me for them. Ah. But now if a guy does it or a girl does it, now you're like, wait, Ish. what? This just ties with what you mentioned last week. And obviously in the show, with the fact that you have to have like a close yeah. relationship. I suppose relationship actually for in order for that to work, you have to have a very secure relationship relationship with the with person, the person and they know that you're not there's no way th- that you're actually just being nice and you're complimenting someone yeah I like i tell miriam her, her dress looks nice you see but now that's w- don't you find that slightly weird what like maybe so what if um the person mm. so like myself and miriam always fight and then my wife is just there, like, stopping us. Okay, wife, you see, that's different. Yeah, that's, okay, that's so you see, the relationship is a lot more yeah, secure. Yeah, 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 not, yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, saying, yeah. obviously, not all obviously. marriages are secure, but the, your wife, chances are, knows you're not interested in Miriam. Yeah. But also, if I was a wife, I think I'd be sort of concerned, because you guys are always fighting. And now you're complimenting. <laughs> yeah, it's less, no, no, don't do not do that. People. Don't, don't do that. Do <laughs> <laughs> okay, using banter when you want to ask someone out. Ha! The moment has arrived for you awkward Oscar outers. <laughs> Here <Okay>. you go. <laughs> so this exchange is between a guy and a girl who have been flirting for a while at a mutual friend's dinner party. Earlier in the evening, he admitted to being a bit of a neat freak who likes things just so, and she teased him about it. Now it's an hour later, the party's about to end, and the guy wants to set up a date with the girl. They are waiting for their taxis. Her, cool party, right? Him, I know, I've met some awesome people, and you, of course. Her, look of mock outrage. (laughs) (laughs) Haha. What? (laughs) Let's just keep going. Hopefully it makes sense. Him, I'm joking, kind of. I really enjoy talking to you. Are you free to hang out anytime this week? Her, Thursday evening works for me if you're not too busy arranging your cutlery in alphabetical order or something. What? Him getting out his phone so they can exchange the numbers. I think I can probably make space in my schedule. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> so by it's making a call back to their right earlier conversation and banter about his extreme tidiness, she signals that she's been paying attention and finds his traits quirky and funny. His final response signals that he's happy to see you on Thursday without coming across too keen. Yeah, mm. I'll check my schedule, you know. Just mm. have to. Yeah. Right. yeah, I might have to I'll cancel my meeting with the president. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, clearly Tabo is going to use that line one day. <laughs> yep. Okay, banter versus, don't laugh at me, I'm saying it correctly, right. negging. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you may have read articles on negging, or you may have not, because I have not. These <laughs> articles imply that you're making someone feel bad about themselves will make will end up making them like you. What the? So that's negging. Okay. Not nagging, it's nagging. Nagging, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not only is this unkind and unethical, but it's unlikely to work, which I completely agree. How do you be mean to someone and then expect them to like you? Yeah, I was... Yeah. Yeah. So banter is not that. Banter, you're not being ugly to the person. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually being cool. Yeah. And oftentimes you're joking about something, but yeah. Intelligent people with good self esteem will see through it. What's more, research so shows that most people think negging is harmful and unpleasant. Good banter is much more fun and it leads to a deeper connection. In other words, people, don't insult people to make them like you. Yeah. Mm. No one's going to like you if you insult them. Like, would you like someone if they insulted you? Tabo? If you do, you are weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think Tabo has said, said it for all of us. And now to the, the final question. How to practice banter? Oh, the application. Mm-hmm. Number yeah. one, try improv classes. Improv classes is actually part of an it's an acting skill. So you'll learn how to think on your feet. So improv in acting is when people don't so there's obviously the storyline and the script and the characters, yeah. but they'll start saying lines that weren't written on the script. That's what improv is. Which if you do this and go to improv classes, you'll learn how to think on your feet, which is a key skill for making banter. It's yeah. also a good chance to make new friends, which would probably be people who would banter. At mm. these, yeah, that is cool. Number two, watch shows and movies with characters who banter. Don't copy their lines, but observe how they interact with each other. You'll realize what a different tone of voice, gesture, and posture can make. Alternatively, discreetly watch pairs of groups or friends in public, but discreetly. People, we don't discreetly. want you looking like stalkers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Don't uh, linger. Don't linger too long. <laughs> And lastly, use facial expressions. If you can't think of a comeback or aren't sure how to respond to banter, fake a look of outrage or shock. This acknowledges the other person's joke, which will make them feel good. It's okay, Tabo. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't think of Tabo's something... <laughs> yes, it's right here. There's I'm reading it. No. It's okay if you can't think of something funny to say every single time, Tabo. Every single time. Alternatively, Tabo, laugh it off and say, <laughs> fine, you win, Tabo. What? No one can vent. No, <laughs> <laughs> no one can vent forever. So, Tabo, it's okay. Just breathe. I know you were freaking out <laughs> and panicking about um, the art of the banter. Yeah. Oh, oh, glory. Okay. <laughs> That's a part of this nagging. No. <laughs> no, this isn't nagging. This is banter. Pure and solid banter. Mm. Come back, come, back. Line. come back, Tabo. Come back. Come back, Tabo. Come back. Even if you give me a facial expression. Stop begging me to come back. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a comeback. Uh, nice. That was not a comeback. Ah, flip. You just I thought of a better one. meant to say stop nagging me to come back. Ah. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not every time, guys. Not a, Yeah, you mm. see, you can't bend forever, so. Yeah. yeah, you guys don't win. You just need to say fine, you won. Go. No. Uh, <laughs> and his pride hits and eats it at him ri- it doesn't rhyme stopping him from uttering the words <laughs> that will set him free <laughs> but he will not so he's in captivity no. for the rest of his life <laughs> can I just mention the fact that Sash always likes to get us to admit to some sort of <laughs> loss things that don't exist that don't exist <laughs> losses that don't can exist. I just state the fact that you two are very sore losers can I just say that I'm sure every faithful shade listener would agree right now if I we had to listen no pain right we now. would yeah yep then they're sad losers nope yep nope yep <laughs> Glory's just Glory, staring nope. at me he's trying the facial expression banter thing <laughs> yeah so that is the art of the banter I feel like we should try an improv session on the shade ones yeah no we should we definitely should do we'll an improv class it. together yeah. right yeah we see Mm. Who is the best improviser? Yeah, yeah. Because we like to compete. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we don't like to lose. No, we don't like to lose. And no, Sash, you haven't won yet. <laughs> we, we're still. Yeah, you haven't won yet. I agree. <laughs> basically, um, I'm taking this one. So basically, Glory <laughs> just admitted to um, his loss. Yeah. Thank you, Glory. Well, we appreciate your honesty. Saying. Finally, on see the show. You've lost the mental battle. Glory, you, you've succumbed. <laughs> <laughs> you have withered <laughs> Broken down You have withered <laughs> Shame withered. That's such a sad description uh-huh. Like we all just Pictured Glory go like A dark Grey colour mm. And like <laughs> Float to the ground Slow music playing In the background As I wither away. <laughs> <laughs> He even went soft In his tone I won't go soft. <laughs> I will not be manipulated. <laughs> Tabo, clearly. Uh, Tabo, it's okay. We're going to end the show, yeah? So Tabo can go and redeem his um, sense of humor. All right. So from us. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Would you like to whistle one more time? No. Okay. From us? No. <laughs> no? Oh, but okay, from me and Glory. I, and me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it is from us. Yeah, yeah, it is from us. Okay. From us. To you. Peace out. Active FM radio has never been better. You, you.